Microsoft, it's not only a job, it's a dream, a financial freedom, turning failures into motivation. It's all about perseverance, growth, and mindset. After nine months of interview preparation and multiple failures, an opportunity to knock the door and my story begins. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I applied for Microsoft, the interview process with practical interview tips for each round, how did I prepare and what free resources did I use. And finally, I will share the resume that got me into Microsoft. Let's start. Someone posted on LinkedIn about job openings at Microsoft. I messaged him like this. Luckily, he asked for my resume and referred me for the job. All interview rounds were scheduled within 20 days of receiving the referral. It may vary for you. A tip for you, apply to the job role that matches your skills on Microsoft career page. If you get a referral, then your chances will increase. Try to get a referral from your friend or LinkedIn connections. Also, scroll LinkedIn for 10 to 15 minutes every day for such opportunities. All right, what was the interview process? Here is an illustration to quickly demonstrate the whole process. It started with the online coding test on the Codility platform, followed by two coding and two system design rounds. All rounds were 60 minutes long. Let's start with round number one. They asked two coding questions of lead code medium level difficult. I was able to do both the problems. A tip for you, practice coding problems on coding platforms such as lead code, code forces or any platform of your choice. It will help you to crack this round. You should be able to do lead code medium level problems. There's no need to attempt hard problems if you are targeting interviews as they are rarely asked. After passing this test, I received a phone call for the next rounds. Back to back rounds, round two and round three. Round two, it was a coding round. The interviewer asked two coding questions of medium level difficulty. One was based on a string and the other was a linked list problem. Your solution should run perfectly on the test cases given by the interviewer. A tip for you, make sure to handle base conditions such as checking for an empty string or verifying if the input is null before processing. Let's move to round three. It was a low level design round where the interviewer expected a detailed implementation of each system component and how they interact. I discussed possible implementation with an interviewer and kept improving my solution based on his inputs. A tip for you, for low level design, they are looking for modular, flexible, maintainable and reusable code. You need understanding of class design, object-oriented principles, solid principles, and common design patterns to perform well in this round. Don't worry, I will share the resources in next two minutes. All right, till here I was confident that I would be going to the next round. A couple of days later, I received an invitation for two more interview rounds. I was quite happy as I was a step closer to my dream. Round four, again, a coding round. Two questions based on graph were asked to me. One was a standard graph problem and the other was a little tricky one. I started with brute force approach and then with the help of the hint shared by an interviewer, I was able to come up with an efficient solution. A tip for you, graph, tree and linked list are their favorite topics. So focus on these data structures. Microsoft cares a lot about code quality. So write clean code and use meaningful names for variables such as father's age, date of birth and so on. Following that, in round five, I participated in a system design round. This time, it was a high level design round. The interviewer was looking for high-level architecture that ensured reliability, scalability, and efficiency. We discussed my solution and he asked a couple of questions like how the system will handle increased traffic, how the system will stay operational in case of failures, and so on. A tip for you, for high-level design, they are looking for available, reliable, scalable, consistent, and fault-tolerant systems. Throughout the interviewer, you should clearly explain your thought process and reasoning. Use diagrams to visually represent the architecture. It is all about the interview process. After a week, I received an offer from Microsoft. Next is, how did I prepare and what free resources did I use? When it comes to interview preparation, I focus on owning my skill in problem solving and system design. I practice coding questions and can handle lead code medium level problems comfortably. I also gave dedicated time to learning both high level and low level design concepts and practicing relevant questions. Here are some great learning resources for data structures and algorithms. You can learn from any of these courses. Number one, Algorithms Part 1 and Part 2 by Princeton University. It is available on Coursera. On Coursera, you can audit any course and learn it for free. Number two, Harvard CS50 Full Computer Science University course. It is available on YouTube, taught by David Malan, a famous teacher at Harvard. Number three, Jenny's lecture playlist on data structures and algorithms in Hindi. It is available on YouTube, excellent teaching by Jenny. 
This course helps you learn everything from the very basics and is good for beginners. I will include links to this and other upcoming resources in the description below. For low level design, I highly recommend Somajit Bhattacharya's low level design YouTube playlist. He clearly explains how to approach and solve low level design problems with examples. Just check out the comments on this videos to see how helpful his teaching is. For high level design, you can refer to Gaurav Sen's system design YouTube playlist. His explanations are clear, simple and easy to follow, making complex topics feel much more approachable. For more good resources on the topics other than interview preparation, you can check out this video. It is one of the most viewed one. Now that you have the resources, here is my resume that helped me land my dream job at Microsoft. I use no resume to build it. The templates are quite good. You can also refer to my Medium article on how to write a resume where I have discussed some helpful tips for resume creation. Just check it out. That's it from our side. I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more such amazing content. See you next time.